secures our load. I've done videos on these, how to secure it, and I've done a video where I was helping a Milton driver out last time here. So I'm not gonna do a video on it, but this is the load. We're gonna try to get out of here. We gotta make Oklahoma in about 10 hours. I'm gonna try to make it by two o'clock, I don't know. But we're gonna get this thing strapped in about 20 minutes, and we're gonna try to get out of here. Good morning, everybody. We're here in Dodge City, Kansas. Uh, as you can see, the load doing pretty good. Um, no issues, these are pretty easy. Uh, it's 8.07 right now. Uh, they close at two o'clock. Uh, we're about four and a half hours away from the 90. Uh, so we should be able to make it there by 12.30, one o'clock the latest, and hopefully get a load going home for, uh, for the weekend. So I asked my dispatcher that we just need to go through the house. I just need Friday and Saturday, like a 34. So I'm hoping that he'll do it. Uh, there's sheetrock that goes right to St. Joseph. There's a couple places that go to like Montana, Washington area. So that would be good because I want to roll out Sunday and still keep making money. So we're going to try to get, we're going to get out of here and uh, try to get this unloaded pretty quickly. All right, you guys, we're going to put our uh, deep part in. Okay, so what we're going to do is go to macro seven and we're going to put our locations the 90 company driver yes tarp no the weight was 46 598 pieces was 10 any overages no i always put rec like you guys seen in the last video uh, we got here 22 and then 23 and fuel we should be good um, I'll just put three fourths now always go back check PMs dates uh, you don't have to do change back door seals we don't have that and then we send it so So this guy's actually they're going to unload us pretty quick. He has a fork, you guys will see in the video, uh, where he can grab two at a time. So he'll be done in like five lifts because we have 10 coils. And then hopefully get a load going through my aunt's house or to my aunt's house. So the plan was if I got unloaded today and I got a load going to St. Joseph, those sheet rocks, um, I get that delivered by Friday and then get a weekend load. So. I'm hoping that is the plan, or he can give me a load that goes up to Montana for the weekend. That would actually be better because I don't have to mess with getting unloaded and loaded on Friday. If he can just give me a load today to go up Montana, that'd be awesome. Man. I can get home Friday afternoon in my aunt's house. So we're gonna wait on that load, but I have a feeling being this late, he might just tell me we'll load tomorrow. Uh, but. Even if there's a load tomorrow that goes for the weekend, I'll be okay with that. I can pack, I can clean, do everything today. So this gave him a couple options. I messaged him, just be like, there's a better load tomorrow for a weekend. Going through the house, then I'll take it. If there's something now that's short, that I can get another load off, which is perfectly fine. So he's almost done actually. So um, I'm gonna end the video here. Right now guys, Prime is not hiring. Uh, it's very, very, very limited. And they're actually laying some guys off. The freight in reefer is really bad. Uh, flatbed is not too bad. Uh, we're moving, but right now in the reefer division is really bad. So Prime is not really hiring a lot. So stay patient if you guys really wanna come to Prime. Uh, it's just not Prime. It's the whole trucking industry right now. Uh, we are really bad right now in, in, in this market. So you guys gotta stay patient continue to work you know when the trucking gets better you know you guys have your foot in the door by putting an application in so just be patient um, I know in Salt Lake they're not hiring any at all so um, but if there's anything I can do for you guys please reach out and uh, we'll see you guys on the next video stay safe peace out good morning everybody we're here at shopping center uh, there was a uh, Texas Roadhouse so I stayed here for the night didn't get a load but we just got one we're gonna get pickup boats going to Virginia so it's only about 200 miles out of route uh, boss man said do it so um, we're gonna do that we're heading over there right now and hopefully still get to my aunts 
uh, hopefully by like maybe five o'clock tonight. So um, we're gonna pick it up and we'll see you guys on the next video. Guys, this is our load right here, going to Cabela's. We're just gonna do a quick uh, walkthrough, make sure there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, they do give you a sheet, so when you roll out of here, you know, uh, just wanna make sure there's no scratches or anything pretty big. So what I usually do is I'll film it. So if they say anything, at least they got on film. Don't take pictures, give it a film. And they can actually look at everything. Uh, don't see anything that's crazy. You know, you just don't want no big cracks or anything. We'll go on the other side. Uh, it's 3.40 right now. I was going to do a video on this, but the guy here did not want to be filmed. So I don't mind. But so we have one strap right here in the front. I don't see any major damages. Okay. Uh, then right here you'll see doing like an X strap. This is how they want it. So all you guys that comment, that's not how I would do it. You can't do it. This is what they want. So there's a guy here that actually goes through it all with you. Um, and then he, you didn't have to put one here, but I want to. So I put a strap there. Uh, you have a strap right here, which is hooking way, let's see if I get it up there. So you're hooking it there and then coming down. So all this has to have carpet. Um, don't see anything crazy. That's the only thing. And then same thing here, back here, did a four inch. You could do a two inch strap, just don't have enough. And some are buried and I didn't want to grab them. So you can see this is one, so one strap here, two for this one that's four straps so i feel comfortable with this this thing also here you got two there and you got a two inch right there so uh we're gonna roll out of here we're gonna get to my aunt's house which is only about four hours away then we're gonna roll out of here sunday try to get to cabela's by tuesday afternoon hey what's up guys good morning uh it's sunday morning we are back at the truck um went to my uh, cousin's graduation we're headed to Cabela's in Virginia. Uh, we're gonna try to drive all day today. It's about 900 miles from here, about a thousand. So we're trying to get as far as we can today. And then um, on Monday, we're gonna try to get this thing delivered. So I'm thinking, I told the guy, I'll probably be shut down today about five or six with the hour forward. So I would say about six, roll out four, maybe get to Cabela's like 10. I think I'll have like five hours to drive in. We'll see. I haven't done the math exactly, but if you want to give me a call on Monday, I'm just hoping they give me a load pretty quick because if they don't, I'm going to Cabela's and go spend a couple hundred dollars. I always do when I go to Cabela's. So I'm hoping I'll drop this off and just get my next load and go. I have no desire to like not stop myself because I like Cabela's. So uh, if you give me a chance to go into a Cabela's or Bass Pro Shop, I'm going in. And I'm always walking out with something. So we're going to hit the road. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next video. All right, you guys. Don't mind the hair. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do... Um, I'm going to show you guys how to do the fueling. Uh, as you can see on Prime, let me show you guys. They wanted me to fuel... Uh, in Kingman City, Missouri, the price is 286. If you go here on the home, and we get to the St. Louis drop yard, 261 is the price compared to 286. That's 25 cents cheaper, and my fuel is right on top of the uh, empty, which I'll show you guys. So if you go to Pilot Flying J, start mobile fueling. Um, on your Qualcomm, you can find all your information. So I'm gonna go on duty, fueling, enter, and then you can go to your load of settings. So start mobile fueling. Come on, just everything's so slow. Diesel, def. Uh, the cool thing is we're going back to Loves and TA. I'm really excited about that. So when you guys do this, everything's on here. Your driver code, your vehicle. And if you do three like of same like uh, Flying J Phillips, all you do is press next, next, next. Uh, it's pretty cool. 
Uh, I think I switched trailers. I think it's under the 583 now. 583077. Trip number is going to be 99. See how much faster this is? One, two, three. Continue. And it'll give you a code. And then we'll fill up and we'll keep hitting the road. What's up, guys? We're here in uh, Henrico, Virginia. Uh, we're just about a mile down the street. I am not feeling good. I uh, think I have a fever, probably, or flu. I got the chills. It's like 75 out here, and I got the chills. So, gonna try to power through it today. Hopefully there's a load that I can pick up tomorrow, but say if it's like, I only have what, three hours left on my clock, say it's like four hours away, pick up tomorrow, but head that way. That'll be ideal, but we'll see at two o'clock more than likely head towards like Monroe. I'm not too familiar what's out here. I never come out towards uh, Virginia area, so uh, all my, if you guys see on my Google, I always leave hearts where I pick up and I leave hearts where I drop off a lot. I don't do every single drop, I do every single pickup. And everything that I have saved since, you know, I've come out this way, they're all about a couple hundred miles out of, a couple hundred miles away. So uh, I think I've been here twice and once I went to Baltimore and the other time I went to Monroe. So, all right, this guy is gonna have to let me go. Let's see if I can get by him. Henrico, welcome to Henrico. All right, the Cabela should be here. That was a long light. Cars, don't be doing nothing stupid. Okay, so at the stop sign, we're gonna make a right. I love Cabela's, man. They just, how can you not? <laughs> they got everything. Let's make a wide turn. Don't take no signs out, don't take no curbs out. Okay, and then right here we'll make a lift. Let's make a lift. What is that over there with a big tower, a uh, clock tower? Market Cafe. And that looks fancy up in there. Market there Cafe. All the boats are out here. So what we're gonna do? Hey, look at some of these speed boats they got. Damn. Turn left. All then right. Take the first left. Uh, we are gonna stop right here because I think this is Turn where they're gonna left. get us unloaded. Then take the first right. Can't be by the fire hydrant either. Back it up. Back, back, back it up. Look at this fire hydrant. Be good right here. How's it going? You ready? Get one of both. Both? You want one? 
Uh, no, you're good. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> There's a the little lady. Uh, I know that you guys don't want all the straps off so it doesn't move. I usually leave the back on until you get the fork under there, but or do you want them all off? Yeah, yeah no, you, you can go ahead and take them all off. Okay. Uh, Las Cabell's the guy got nervous. He was like, no, no, I'll keep two uh, strap on until I get the fork in there. Uh, okay. <laughs> I ain't going anywhere. Hey. Uh, I will try to, uh, I will get you to move up just a little bit so I can get the fork in on that back side. Okay. Just I just saw the fire hydrant hose. Yeah, it'd, it'd be all right. You can block that. You guys got enough boats? Well, we just had a truck this morning, had four on it. Shit. Yeah. I'm sure we had about seven or eight supposed to come this week. So there's these two. So I've got one or two more still coming. Jeez. <laughs> All right, let's take this off. Careful, so it doesn't. Uh, these mighty straps are actually doing pretty good. Um, bought 20 to do a kind of a review. Uh, there is like one or two that's got a little tear. Uh, my yellow straps that I had, I had them for almost three years. So I'm gonna see how good these do compared to uh, the yellow ones. These are made, with, uh, my buddy Mike said he looked into it. The Mighty straps are made by Kennedine, which are probably the best straps out here. Most major companies have them. So if it's true, these should last a long time. I don't know where he saw it, might ask him, but we'll see. This is the, the strap that fell onto the freeway, it came undone. Never had it happen ever, so I put two bungees on it. Just don't hit my Tonka. <laughs> it's a $5,000 fine. <laughs> You want to move those tires?
Can you imagine dropping that? <laughs> That's a lot of money. Just make sure those straps don't catch it to pull them. Let me grab this one. Oh, that. Okay, you should be good. Good right there? Okay. Back down to earth a little bit. All right. 